Hey beautiful souls, this is Cherie here from Soul Deep Designs and welcome to my channel. For my subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing, your kind com um, comments, your shares, it does not go unnoticed. I appreciate you, especially me being in the beginning of this YouTube journey. Thank you so much. For your new souls that's tuning in, listen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you can be notified every time Soul upload a video, because I'm telling you, we are going to be doing some dynamic stuff, y'all, okay? And I am really excited about today. This is one of my loves. I love doodling in a lot of different art forms, but this is one of my top loves, okay? So today, we are gonna be doing some splatter, some splatter paint, okay? And I'm gonna show you in a minute what supplies you're gonna need and what we are gonna be splattering on, okay? So stay tuned. If you wanna see more, sit, stay, get your popcorn, get whatever you need to get, because we are going to have a ball, okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. The supplies you're gonna need, as you see, I have gloves, I already got paint on it, y'all. Gloves, um, yeah, old clothes, uh, I have an apron um, and uh, shoes, because you know if you're splattering, you know paint might go everywhere. And also have an area for if you do splatter paint, that it don't go all over, you know, everywhere. Put some up under it, some over it. Um, you're gonna also need and I could just show you, let me show you, because I want to show you how to mix this as well. Let me see. Hopefully you can see. One second. Sorry about that, y'all. Just want to make sure that y'all can see some of the items that I will be using. One of the most important things that I'm going to be using, this is called acrylic flow release and you can use water you can use anything that kind of um liquefies your uh paint to make it a lot of you know a little thinner so when we do um our splatter it'll be a lot easier for it to flow but you can use anything this is just one of my preferences okay you're going to use uh, your different colors of your choice i have just different colors here may not use them all but these are different colors of uh paint and this is acrylic you know, brushes, um, also have uh, these little craft. These are good to splatter if you don't have uh, paint. And also, I don't know where my toothbrush at, but toothbrush, um, I have different type of, uh, different type of brushes, like this is a fan brush. I have a big brush. Um, and you can have old brushes. Uh, it don't matter. Just something that you can splatter. You can even splatter with popsicle sticks. I have popsicle sticks, which I'm going to mix, and I'm going to show you how I mix this. Uh, pretty much all of them is mixed, but I wanted to um, show you how I mix that. And um, that's really about it. Um, and I'll show you what we're going to splatter on, but let me show you how I mix this first. What I do, I go ahead and put the paint in a cup. And yeah, and you need some like some plastic cups or something. Um, I meant to say that. You take your water or whatever release you're using, because you can lose. You, I mean, you can use so many different things. Now you don't want it too runny, and you also don't want it, um, I guess, too thick. Okay, because you want the consistency. Um, so when you do splatter. Let me just show you, you see that? And you have to make sure you mix it up really, really good, y'all, okay? And as you can see, it's a consistency, so if I do splatter, it'll have that nice, not too runny and not too thick, okay? And that's all you have to do. Um, and when you're um, doing your splatter, y'all, just make sure that um this is mixed up pretty good okay so even when you put one down just make sure that you know um you mix it um up pretty good once you um begin to splatter 
and you see I have uh, something on the table also to protect this table from the paint. That's all you need. So let's go and see what we'll be splattering today. Meet you over there. All right, beautiful souls, we are back. And as you can see, we will um, be splattering paint this hoodie. And sorry about the wind, it's uh, blowing a little bit and also my shadows, but um, so what we're gonna do is, don't second guess it. I just want you to use whatever you need to use to splatter. Don't worry about where is it going on the hoodie. I just need you to splatter. And as you see, it's faced this way, so I won't get everything over, you know, this area. And all I need you to do is just splatter. See that? Just splatter. Don't second guess it. Whatever way you want to splatter, you can splatter on your hood. You can splatter anywhere. Because this is going to be the first process of what we're going to be doing. Okay, you see how I had that big old right there? It's all right. What, I, what I'm doing, and even though I'm using um, different paint, uh, get you some water. So if you're using the same brush, uh, you can get that color as you like it um, instead of having paint in your, in the same brush. And also by using different brushes and different sizes, you'll get a different look as well. So, just something to think about. Just some soul food for thought. We're gonna do the same thing. Don't think about it y'all, just do it. Don't think about what it look like. Don't try to be perfect. Just do it. And I'm gonna get some of my arms over here. Just be as organic as you can. That makes the When you organic, that makes the best art, y'all. Do it. Just do it. You can change your strokes. You can put what colors you want. You don't have to put all the colors that I'm doing. You don't have to do that. Just put whatever colors you want. And I hope you can kind of see. It's kind of hard to see um, the way it's angled. But honey, I don't want to get my hair right too wet. Y'all hear? Y'all feel me? So I'm just going, going around, trying to get those shoulders. I'm gonna go to the back, and what I can get at the back, I'm just gonna get at the back worry about it. It may not hit all of it. Whatever it hit. As long as it don't hit my camera. <laughs> all right. until you get the desired look, color, or whatever. Let's put some orange on it. Ooh, that wind is blowing, y'all. And as you can see, what's it doing? It's just giving it a little look. It's different. See? That's right. Nothing needs to be perfect, y'all. 
not try to make it perfect. Life ain't perfect. What I'm gonna do, cause I didn't put this color on the back of my going. Just splatter some on the back. And also, I didn't tell you what you need. Make sure that y'all have um, something to put your uh, shirt on. And I don't have anything in the middle of my shirt. I'm not worried about it, you know, going through or whatever. Not really. Just going around it, just looking. Really feeling it's all about what you want. It's about what you want. What you want yours to look like. How many colors? I mean, you can. This is so, so many. designs and go bananas with it. This is just what I chose. Just for y'all to see that the sky is the limit, y'all. You see me now, I'm just playing around, just hitting it. I'm putting some on my hood. Be our first step because we're gonna really build this up. It's gonna be a part one. Y'all get ready for part two. Give y'all time to do this. Get y'all stuff good and dry. Move it over a little bit in the back. We don't have too much of a big gap. Playing around with it. And just FYI, if you don't use all your paint, you can actually cover it up, get you some saran wrap, and cover it up. Uh, and you can use it for another project. Y'all can see it, y'all. You can use any kind of hoodie, man. This is also uh, great for um, a dark hoodie, like a black hoodie. Ooh, with them colors. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. I'm talking about the vibe diggity, y'all. Yes. Get ready for part two. We gonna go to a whole nother level, y'all. Right? And what I'm gonna do after this dries a little bit, I'm gonna turn it around. And some of it may be ready now. Let's see. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Also watch your hands. If you have like a lot of paint on there that you don't want on your piece, just make sure you wipe your hands off first. Turn this. And as you can see, I already had to start putting something on the back. Do it, y'all. Just do it. Just do 
let's do it. Sometimes it is best to kind of work outside or unless you have a space that you can splatter. But if not, I know it's kind of cool in some areas. But you put you on a jacket, a hoodie, or whatever. And uh, you go for it. Yep, just really doing the same thing. Um, the back. Make sure you don't put too much on your your, um, your brush. And I meant to tell you too, um, and I have them inside goggles. Sometimes you make sure you protect your eyes when you're doing this. Make sure you protect your eyes telling you make sure that you have something on that you just work in certain work clothes you don't want to mess up your stuff spots I've got to dry just go back over it nothing wrong with having layers nothing wrong with having layers about what you want. Alright. We're gonna turn this around. I'm gonna take my gloves off. I don't want any heavy spots. The sun hit it. Sometimes it don't take long to dry. Try to hold it up for you. Again, as you can see, it didn't smear it when I turned it. None of it. Some got inside of the hoodie, but I think that's hot. It's organic. Watch your hands, because some of it's still wet now. And get it a little closer and you can kind of see you can see my camera stand but you see that this is just part one it's part one so I'm gonna give y'all time to get y'all hoodies get it all good and paint it up and we are going to go to step two soon all right but well this is part one all right all right beautiful souls I hope you uh, enjoyed this piece right here like I said 
um, this is part one. We are going to be doing some dynamic things in part two, so y'all have to stay tuned um, in regards to hitting that notification bell um, to make sure you don't miss with part two because we are going to go, we're going to take this up a notch. I know you're saying, what can we do? But let me tell you something, so deep, I'm telling you, so y'all be ready. And until the next time, please continue to love yourself, y'all. Even with all y'all imperfections, no one is perfect. Love yourself, and so gonna see you soon in part two. Peace.